Double up. Three or four times. I ain't telling no lies. I just run it up. What's good, YouTube? I got a good cut for y'all today. We're doing a high fade with wavelength on top. And right here, we're just combing everything out, making sure it's laid properly, and then we'll jump straight into the cut. Yo, GG! Turn it up! So right here, just to start the cut off, we're gonna go ahead and knock the hair down with a one and a half closed. Doing this will just set a good foundation, and it'll make it a lot easier to fade into. So right here to set this ball line in, we're gonna set it right at the bottom of the vertical bar. I do this on high fades cause you wanna just take out the C cup completely and then really just make sure everything underneath the ball line is set, you know, as neat as possible. So to start off the fade, we're gonna go with lever open about an inch up the head. And doing this, you know, with the full inch, it'll stretch the fade a little bit and give it a better, you know, finished product in my opinion. So right here to take out that guideline you just set in, I like to break it down into thirds. So I'll go with the lever closed at the very bottom and then I will go halfway up on the guideline with halfway on the lever and that should blend it out completely. And if it doesn't, you just have to jump back and do a little detail work. So for this next step, I like to go with the one guard open about another inch up the head and really just make sure you set it in as neat as possible and make sure you're cutting, you know, as all the hairs that you can. Yo, GG, turn it up. So to take out that line you just created, I like to jump straight into the half guard. I usually go with it fully closed and I will pretty much, it's just kind of like a feel thing. I don't have a certain, you know, step system that I do here. It's just really just feel and just really flicking at that bottom line until, you know, the fade is looking how you want it.
So right here, just connect everything. I'm coming with the one and a half guard closed. And this should blend straight into the top since we did a one and a half with the grain. And if it doesn't, you know, blend it out completely, you just have to jump back down and, you know, use your one guard and clean up any spots that you might see. Right here, I'm just doing a little detail work. I seen a few, you know, spots I didn't, you know, I didn't really like. So I jumped back down to the one and really just cleaning everything up with my corners and even the full blade if it's a big spot. Most of the time though, when I'm detailing, I'll use, you know, corner of my blade because you don't want to set in any new lines that, you know, weren't there already. So right here, just to give the cut a nice finished look, I'm going to go ahead and add in some wave foam. It gives it a nice look and it also will lay the hair down properly and make it, you know, a lot easier when you're doing the lineup. Yo, GG! Right here i'm just doing a little hairline prep really it's just taking alcohol and cleaning the skin off doing this will um make it a lot easier when you're doing your lineup because once you hit the skin with the trimmers it'll give the skin a nice like ash line look almost but it's really just you know the result of the skin being super clean from the alcohol So I went ahead and sprayed hairspray in the lineup also. And right here, we're just blow drying it all down and making sure all the hair is laid properly and really just making it a lot easier for the lineup. So right here to start the lineup, I like to start in the middle and then I'll work my way to each side. I don't really have a preference on which way I go first. It's really just all in the moment. But right here, we're just going to the left side and then I line up the vertical bar and then go ahead and finish off the other side. So right here, I'm just making sure the corner is as neat as possible. In my opinion, the corners play a crucial part in the lineup. And you know, if that's off, the whole lineup will look off. So just make sure you're really hitting them corners and your whole lineup will come together smoothly. So right here's a good example of what the hairline prep does. It shows, you know, that white line that, you know, wouldn't show if you didn't do that hairline prep. And just doing that will really help you not push people's lineups back and just really give it a nice finished look also. Hey, yo, Pluto. 
You going brazy. So right here, just to uh, finish off the cut, I like to add in some Kiss Express. He had some lighter corners, so you know it's gonna it's gonna give him a better finished look going out the door. And a lot of my clients appreciate it. And make sure you ask your clients prior to doing this, because some of them will say no, but majority of my clients love it. So just run it by them, and you'll be straight. So right here, we're gonna go ahead and enhance the other side. When you're doing this, you wanna make sure you're spraying it evenly. Like you'll notice I spray lighter in the middle section where the hair is more dense rather than the corners where it's lighter. Doing this will just make it look more natural and you know, give the cut a better finished look. So right here, after I spray the enhancement, I like to come back with the straight razor. I think it gives it a nice finished look. It gives a nice ash line to the client's lineup. And a lot of them appreciate it. If you're a barber and you don't do this, you really should. I don't know why you wouldn't, but it's just, it gives it a nice look to it. So right here, just to go ahead and finish off the cut, I'm just freehanding with my trimmers and just making sure everything, you know, is laying properly and there's nothing crazy standing up. But this pretty much wraps with the cut. I was finished touch. I hope y'all enjoyed the cut today. If you learned something new, drop it in the comment section, drop a like on the video, share it with a friend. I appreciate you. We sat to the end of the video and God bless. You want me to lose? No, I'm not perfect and I deserve it. No, you scream my name in the middle of Spain like Turkey, yo. I got a story, got a movie, but nobody knows. Believe me, I'm real. Believe me, I'm true for real. You should know. Nobody knows. Like fuck that bitch who birthed you